There are obvious basics that we all need in our wardrobe. But now that I have turned 60, I've been noticing that I have a whole other set of basics that I feel are an absolute necessary basic that perhaps my younger self would not have considered to be a basic. Hey ladies, I am so glad you're here because I love, love, love our girl time. <laughs> so if you have not yet subscribed and officially joined our fabulously mature gang, then hit that subscribe button. If you hit the like button, well, it has been known for angels to sing in my heart. It definitely makes my day. So let's get started and talk about everything that we need in our wardrobe now that we are fabulously mature. So leisure pants actually really are high on my list. And that is something I thought I would never say. That has a lot to do with just the changing world that we live in. It's just a lot more acceptable to wear leisure pants. But at the same time, I just want to be comfortable. I am so over suffering for fashion. Although I know I still do it, I slip into that, but I always regret it after. The problem with leisure pants is that they're a slippery slope. They can slide really quickly into frumpy. So we've got to really be deliberate to not let that happen. All we really need is about two pair of neutral leisure pants, and that is going to take us really far. So if you get something that is good quality, that is going to help elevate it. That is going to show up and make it look less frumpy. I have two pair that I wear on repeat. My absolutely favorite pair are my Spanx. I talk about them all the time. They are just so soft. When you put them on, they are like a butter, ladies. And because they're wide length, makes them look a little more modern. You can swap them out with any kind of sneaker or sandal or anything you want to wear. They look great with slippers too. <laughs> I wear them around the house a lot. The second pair that I got that I really love is this waffle set that I got from Free People. It actually comes with the matching little jacket slash sweater. When I got it, it only came in this one color and I thought it wasn't much of a neutral, but I really wanted it to go on a trip that I was planning. I wanted it to be my travel outfit on the airplane, so I got it, but I actually really do find that it's a pretty good neutral. It goes with so many things but it comes in so many colors that are just fabulous neutrals. So it kind of makes me want to get another pair, but if I am going to get a second pair, I think I'm going to get another pair of those bangs because they come in a few colors too. And those are definitely the ones that I wear on repeat a lot, perhaps more than I should. I talked about how wearing leisure pants can be a slippery slope between cute and frumpy. So we need to be deliberate about what we pair it with. T-shirts look best with leisure pants. So since we wanna look super duper cute, we need to put some thought into what are those basic T-shirts that we're keeping in our wardrobe. By keeping our leisure pants neutral, we can have a little more fun with our t-shirts. Look for things that have some interest in them. Maybe pick your favorite color as one of them. Something maybe a pop of color. Of course, you want your black t-shirt. You want your white t-shirt. I have been digging this brown t-shirt that I just got. I think brown is a color we forget about too often and I just think it pairs beautifully with everything. It makes everything you put it with look more expensive than it is. So I have added this brown t-shirt into my wardrobe and it is a great basic that I cannot live without. I also love a good graphic tee. I think that adds interest and helps to elevate the outfit as well. My basic footwear has changed dramatically over the last several years, I'll tell you that much. My feet have started to rebel and they refuse to be shoved and squished into high heels. Although I still sometimes do it because I love high heels so much, but I always regret it. It's always a terrible choice. So 97.8% of the time, or somewhere in there, I am wearing comfortable shoes, but it's easy. There are so many cute, comfortable shoes, especially in the summertime. So many sandals, flat sandals, wedge sandals, sneakers, all of these things just make fashion really cute and it makes our little feetsies so happy. 
There was a day I would not have dreamt or ever imagined that I would wear a pair of sneakers with a dress, but I do that all the time and it looks so cute. And when you're dressing up in the summer, you don't need high heels. Any kind of flat sandal is gonna look so pretty. Just throw it on with that little dress or your linen pants and it's gonna look really dressy. So summertime especially, I think is really easy to just have your feet being so comfortable. You could even go barefoot. And lastly, my undergarments. Underwire bras, oh boy, they have been so replaced by my bralettes. They are just so much more comfortable and they hold everything in place the way they should. Flossing certain parts of my body, um, not the biggest fan of anymore. And shapewear, I get it. There's probably still opportunities where I will pull out shapewear, although I cannot remember the last time I did. I would much rather embrace a role than compromise breathing. So those are just a few things that now that I am 60, I have swapped out of my wardrobe or brought into my wardrobe, but life is forever evolving and we need to embrace the change and bring it in. Those are just a few things that have changed in my wardrobe now that I am older and much, much wiser. Thanks for hanging out with me, ladies. Hope you have a fabulous, fantastic, awesome, super duper, incredible day. I love you, bye.